Hi! Oh my god, Chaos again. Uh, with another episode of Revolution Frank Up. And this time I am doing my Heraldic Beast deck again. So, uh, let's see how it goes. I did make some changes to this deck. Added some more rank 4 enablers. And took out some cards. And added in, added in a third Mind or Matter. Unfortunately, this hand is not the greatest. I'm going to set this here a bit later. And end my turn. Here he has truth. So it's the Genos. I seriously want to steal that. Wow. I don't think you can really get that much value out of that. But I guess that's not terrible. Armadas, but I'm going to use Potamus on the Armadas, so yeah. Wow, Torrential. Well, that was kind of a waste. Get up a Conway. My point is getting the search in the end phase, which is fine. Also, like you know, of course, I'm using Heretic Beast in uh, Yu Gi Oh! Tier Draft League, an, an online uh, tournament by Yuval Mastery. Um, Just remind one another and end my turn because I can't really do much currently. But of course, the Hyotic Beast deck in the, in the TR Draft look is kind of different because, of course, I can't uh, change the deck uh, in the middle of the tournament. Of course, you have to submit the deck list before. I had to submit the deck list before the tournament, and then, of course, after that, I can't change it. Next, Shokan, number 18. Of course, the key card of this deck. And activate Rank Limited Barian's Force. Cause Exist Change. Cause Chaos Number 106. That's pretty good. And I'm going to attack. Also, some uh, uh, people asked me for a deck list in my previous two. Remorse of Ranka episodes, my Coco Utopia decks and uh, Shark deck. Um, unfortunately, I don't. I'm not going to do that deck profiles of those decks. The Shark deck really hasn't changed much from uh, last time, so you can just search out the most recent uh, online deck profile of that. And as for the Utopia deck, uh, of course I do have the deck in real life, aside from the exec uh, cards that are not out, like for example, of course, Shine number 0, Utopia the Lightning, and uh, of course, number 93, Utopia Kaiser. But I'm doing uh, an update real life deck profile of that deck. 
eventually, after I get some uh, cards I need for a deck, and I'm kinda rethinking what I should do with that deck as well. Whether to go with the more aggressive route or uh, with uh, more traps and all that. Or go with the kind of uh, more aggressive route, the creep build. Opponent is just setting cards, which is fine for me. Hmm, card cog as well. But first, going to activate Unicorn Factor Why my number eighteen. Of course, in this deck, you have to make sure that you finish the draw before you run out of unicorns and out of uh, your head of piece also to send with uh, Patriarch. Just then, uh, more than likely, you're, you're going to be screwed if you don't top deck your advanced head the heart or something. I think for now, I will keep my cards in the hand so. Later, if I need to, I can go for any rank 4 I need. And since I have the Mind Warmer as well to protect me. Of course, my opponent does get to search, of course. Also, talking about the Genos, actually. I am taking out uh, the Death Genos deck uh, from my new Tone of Tonic series because, quite honestly, that deck is uh, not really that great, and uh, since it does pretty much uh, focus on the same thing as my Synchron deck, which is, of course, bringing out my Shooting Quasa Dragon, but of course, the, I rarely actually summon out my actual death chain was Oculus Synchro Master because they are yeah not as good as uh, uh, that's of course that are re re related to the Stardust uh, I guess Arch type connect with mine and negate the summon of uh, Monda Magician I oh, want then activating the DGX 3DX2 as well. So yeah, there's going to be uh, two new decks in New Tone of Tonic series, uh, yeah, very soon. One is more of a competitive synchro deck that uh, that is very new, and the uh, other is more, I guess, more casual, more fun deck, but it's also pretty powerful. And it's uh, r related to uh, one uh, character from Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Days and Arc Five as well. So I think that uh, pretty much tells you what uh, one of the decks will be. Or maybe even both of them. It's not really very hard to guess that. Well, I have a lot of options. And at this point it's pretty much game over because I have so many resources to work with. I am going to do a real-life deck profile uh, of the update deck. So, yeah, look forward to that. I think I will do it around uh, this week later.
Right back to that dash was a worn down cyber magician. Attack with those two as well. Unfortunately, I still haven't won uh, uh, my local tournament with this deck yet. Somehow I have kind of failed with that. Either I have lost to uh, floodgates or just... Uh, yeah. Or because of some other weird reason. But I'm not going to play this deck uh, in uh, in a local tournament uh, that soon either. I'm going to have try some other decks. Uh, like of course some my uh, normal pendulums and I'm of course building the synchron deck in real life as well. So I'm going to play with this deck again in a tournament in November I think after Northern and uh, all that shit's released. Oh, my am opponent, of course, surrendered. So I warned this 12. So we'll, uh, let's see the next 12. And I'm back again. Of course, mostly I do want to go second. Uh, in this deck, because uh, you want to see as many cards as possible. And of course, uh, because I run, of course, Assault Halberd as well, which really doesn't uh, work first turn. But uh, in games um, 2 and 3, if I did matches, I will probably go first because I want to see my sided cards and lock down my opponent first. Mm. No, I don't think there's any need of activating the coin back effect. So I guess my opponent is playing Cyber Darks. The only deck I have seen playing uh, Hunter Dragon. Only to have someone number 18 in defense. And then set that Mind War Matter. So yeah, Mind War Matter is so good. That's why I also put it back to free pretty much. But of course, of course, my plan has the MSD for it. And I don't have any other uh, defensive cards. But hopefully I still survive. And of course, also of course, uh, uh, watch my... Uh, uh, duals from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! TR Draft League. They are all pretty interesting, I guess. Actually, I'm doing, doing pretty well in the tournament currently. But of course, uh, it's probably not going to last very long. Especially after... Especially when the playoffs start, then I'm definitely probably going to drop off pretty quickly, so... I really don't think I'm going to win the tournament, for sure. It will be way too hard for me. Let me get the other corner here. So, like I thought, it was Cyber Darks. Haven't seen really many uh, play this there. Well, so many monsters. Of course, I do run 20 monsters in this deck now, so that's not really a surprise. But I do want to get my defensive cards as well. I think I might go for Exit Knight at this point, because my opponent has 
six cards in total. Too bad I don't have extra night in real life. But hopefully it gets another, another reprint. Of course I will get Castell after uh, we get um, the Mega Tins. And I think it will be very cheap for me, so that will be pretty nice. I think I can just pass now. I don't think there's any point in reviving my uh, number 18 yet. I don't think I really need the extra defense here. Oh, Malefic Truth Dragon. I guess it's just equipped to the Cyber Dark Dragon. More than likely. I'm again night as well. And it's my turn. This case I'm going to discard Summon of this banner. And Leo's effect activates, getting me another Abba Conway. I think I'm going to just go all in in this case. I don't think that back row is really that much. Or that threatening, but we'll see, I guess. Hmm, eighteen high life points left. I guess just go for King of the Prelims. I could go for Light Chidori and Bounce Away that face down, but I don't think it's uh, really necessary. And then set that compulsory, compulsory evacuation device as well. No, it was MST. Compound really have to top deck something really good to get out of this situation. Oh, it's Curry Bandit. Well, that's definitely not going to help much because I'm going to just attack for a game next turn. I guess uh, my opponent used Curry Bandit to get access to the Cyber Dark Impact uh, Fusion card. Oh, well, like I expected. Pretty much uh, uh, tuned the uh, free cyber darks uh, from the field and or graveyard to the deck, and then uh, fusion summon your cyber dark dragon. But unfortunately, that's too late for you. It's just a deck for game. So I won again, but uh, against uh, attack that. A deck that is not really very compatible, but yeah. But, and this is it for this uh, episode of uh, Revolution of Rank Up. Uh, so look forward to the uh, deck profile, or uh, real life deck profile of this deck uh, uh, later this week. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Revolution of Rank Up. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omakius out.